Okay, Mom. I'll pay you back all the money. Of course I have enough money, Mom. I always have at least $40 because of the money I make from making duct tape wallets. I'm like, rich for being 13. Jeez. $60. No problem. Let's look at my bank. Let's see. Okay, I have a 20. A 5. Okay, 25. 45. 65. Okay, seriously? Give my mom this money, all I have is a dumb five dollar bill left. That's not very helpful now, is it? And the worst part is that I can't gain this money back that easily. The only allowance I get is a dollar per week. I'm 13 and my parents give me one dollar per week. So when I ask my parents to give me a raise, they say, well some children don't get any allowance. But those same kids are the kids whose parents buy them whatever they want, so they don't even need allowance. I do. My parents make me pay for everything that I want and don't need. And all I get is a dollar a week. And on top of that, whenever I ask my parents if I can have my allowance, they get mad at me. They all of a sudden get all grumpy and say, Erica, I'm busy right now. Later. Yeah, thanks. So when I was younger, when I couldn't get any money, if I wanted to get something, I had to realize that the only way to earn money was to sell something. Cause at that age, I couldn't get a job. And you know what selling something means. That means that I have to go to each house, ring on their doorbell, and bother some people if they want to buy some cherries. And of course half them say, um, no. Yeah, thanks for being supportive. But still, at least after a few hours, I get about five bucks. After like an hour of cherry picking, literally. So me and my best friend, who's also my neighbor, Chrissy, used to go around to people's houses and sell whatever we could. And that included picking cherries from a cherry tree, making interesting food in the kitchen, which actually some people bought, putting up cute little lemonade stands, and not only lemonade stands, they'd actually have punch and fudge. No one ever bought it though. The only one to eat that was us. We even did that on yard sale day. I mean, seriously, people. Everybody stops buying from yard sales at like 11 o'clock and everybody leaves home. And as I got older, I used to sell jewelry with my friend Juliana. I did that for a while and yeah, my parents were supportive but I did not get any profit. I actually would lose money because the beads cost more than the bracelets. And I will never forget that lady who told me that my bracelets were too expensive. I had to buy a pack of beads, which were about five bucks. And I sold the bracelet, which used most of the beads, for three bucks. And the lady said it was too much and started talking to me when I was about 10 years old about how, how her bracelet was only one dollar and a lot nicer. She made me feel terrible. And then she kept bickering and bickering until I finally gave her the bracelet for 250. Seriously. And I never sold anything at that lady's house again. And after a while, I kind of gave up on bracelets too, realizing that I was not making any money. But just a few years ago, I learned what would really make me my real money. And you didn't want to know what I'm selling? If I got me a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work at all. I'd fool around and have a ball. Oh yeah, baby. Duct tape wallets. Money, money, money. Must be funny. A lot of supplies are kind of required to make duct tape wallets. And knowing my mom, she made me buy with my own money, like most of them. 
So after a long, hard working day of making duct tape wallets, I'd make some money. But then of course I want to spend some too. I can't just save it all up. So just when I thought I had enough money, I had to pay my mom back. What happens is this goes, this goes, and this goes. And all I have left is a $5 bill in my savings. So what does that mean? That means I have to go back to making more wallets. I want to be a billionaire so flippin' bad. I want to be a billionaire so bad Buy all of the things I never had I want to be on the cover of Forbes magazine Smiling next to Oprah and the Queen Oh, every time I close my eyes I see my name in shiny yeah, a different city every night. Oh, I whoa, whoa, neon shine.